Now to your top 10 headlines in just two minutes. Sacramento Mayor Daryl Steinberg has been named mediator in the ongoing negotiations between the University of California and the United Auto Workers Union. The union represents striking graduate students, researchers, and academic student employees. L.A. Mayor Karen Bass has declared an immediate state of emergency to deal with the city's homeless crisis. Bass said the declaration announced Monday will allow faster action to get thousands of unhoused people off the streets. Sacramento police are investigating a crash that hit a popular Susie Burger restaurant in Midtown. It happened around 6 a.m. on P Street. The driver was taken to the hospital. The good news is no staff was hurt. U.S. authorities say former CEO of failed crypto firm FTX, Sam Bankman Fried, has been arrested in the Bahamas at the request of American officials. The Keystone Pipeline is shut down for now as crews begin cleaning up more than half a million gallons of oil that spilled into a creek in Washington County, Kansas. The cause of the leak is under investigation. The pipeline carries oil from Canada to refineries in the U.S. The California Department of Finance was a victim of a cyber attack. Cal OES says they were told about the attack through state and federal security organizations. The incident is now under investigation. This afternoon, the Sacramento County Sheriff helicopter forced to make an emergency landing was airlifted from the muddy field where it landed on Sunday. At the time, two deputies were on board, but neither was hurt. The FAA and NTSB are investigating the cause. With the Biden student loan forgiveness plan stalled by Republican lawsuits, the Black Lives Matter Global Network Foundation has launched a relief fund. The $500,000 fund will award more than 500 recipients with relief payments ranging from $750 to $4,500. Today, the Supreme Court refused a request from tobacco companies to stop California from enforcing a ban on flavored tobacco products. Proposition 31 was approved by voters last month and is expected to take effect in the next few weeks. For the first time ever, scientists at the Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory produced a nuclear fusion reaction leading to a net energy gain. The official announcement is expected tomorrow from the U.S. Department of Energy. It could be a big step towards an infinite source of clean energy. And those are your top 10 headlines in just two minutes.